वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल बाल विज्ञान भारती एंड इन दिस चैनल आई विल शो यू फ्यू मोर रिलेशन ऑफ द रेसियोज वेयर विल कन्वर्ट द सम ऑफ टू रेसियोज इन टू द मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ द रेसियोज इन विद कम्बिनेशन ऑफ द एंगल्स ओके सो नाउ लेट से देर आर टू एंगल्स ओके ए एंड बी ए एंड बी नाउ इफ आई टेक एनी रेसियोज ऑफ ए एंड बी एज ए प्लस और माइनस ऑफ द रेसियोज देन हाउ कैन इट बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू द कम्बिनेशन ऑफ द रेसियोज वेयर दिस एंगल्स विल बी एडेड और सब्ट्रैक्टेड सो विद दैट मीन्स इफ आई टेक साइन ऑफ ए एंड साइन ऑफ बी that formula can be converted into multiplication product of sin of a plus b and n minus b how can it be possible so the, the first formula that again a standard formula you can use it but before then that you have to understand how it is coming so this is 2 of sin a plus b by 2 into sin of uh, sorry cos of a minus b by 2 how will you prove that yes so how will you prove that okay so now if i uh, if i uh, say you uh, it will be very easy to understand it's not a big thing but seeing it you find it is very difficult because till now whatever you learnt if you try with this you may not reach at the exact Uh, uh exact value that is in right hand side you have need to have uh, you need to use your common sense it is not that big uh, thing to understand so if i say what if if i write a in this form will it represent the a in same way because a plus b by 2 plus a minus b by 2 if i write so this will give you a again okay now you can say why you have thought like that because when something has to be proved let's say i am being told to prove this equal to this now usually the common sense will come there must be some relation with a plus b by 2 and a minus b this angle these are the available angle which are in the relation left hand side right hand side here it is two angle a and b uh, here that two angles are getting so there must be something you 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 have to uh, you have to run your uh, uh, sense like that that there must be relation where ultimate relation will uh, be there where this two angle will come so definitely this angle must be uh, must be related with this kind of angle so from there if you if you uh, think a bit it is automatically will come it's not a big thing i am saying very easily but it's not that i i i done it uh, very uh, miss I, i need to if put my effort so much i have practiced so many things so that means it is automatically will come like that it is not that always you have to follow some uh, some Uh, source to uh, uh, to bring uh, this uh, kind of uh, bring this kind of you can say the solutions it you can do it your own own way okay so try and practice more so that it will be easier as i am saying okay it's not that very tough to uh, bring this ideas in your in your own uh, sense or mind okay it is very easy so now a can be represented as this obviously b will be represented by this because ultimate result will come now you can see a and b as represented in this form so this total i am taking as a this i am taking as b this one i am taking as a so it will be very easy so sin of a can be written as in the form of if i do this so sin will become what a plus b obviously sin capital a can be written as sin a plus b whereas sin b 
can be written as sin of a minus b. The same thing is written here, where small a represent capital A plus b by two, and small b is minus of this two. Now, if this come to your mind easily, then the other thing will be very easy to prove. The only thing is that if we put sin of a plus b here plus sin of a minus b here. Now, rest of the things you already know. What is that? You expand it. Sin of a cos of b plus cos of a sin of b. The next one, sin of a cos of b minus cos of a sin of b. Now, this part are equal. So, you can cancel it out. The remaining is sin of small a and cos of b it is coming twice so 2 will come here now ultimately what you have to do you have to put the exact value the actual value so here is your proof now see this is true this was equal to this now that being proved okay now if i say what if if i bring a negative sign in between then what would be your result then will it be same or the opposite if you are having used your common sense this will be just this much change will come in the formulation why when i have expanded that after uh, taking at a minus b and a plus b the ultimately the the thing will turn into what has came cos b plus cos a sin b here only the sign is changing this will come minus and this will come plus cos a sin b so this part this time will cancel and the remaining part will be cos a sin b and after putting the actual value the thing will be like that now you see only the this much is changing here everything else will be same okay okay let me try with cos okay now this time i will write not write the right side equation because i know the trick so i can go with this directly now what i will write cos of a plus b by 2 plus a minus b by 2 plus cos of a plus b by 2 minus a minus b by 2 so this will be my elaboration and further if i elaborate cos a one cos a plus b what is the formula cos a cos b minus sin a sin b plus cos a cos b plus because when it is minus in between the sign will change here so that will be sin a sin b now this part are same you can cancel it out the two part will be 2 cos a plus b by 2 into cos a minus b by 2 okay understood so i have not written this time so that the thing will come is now i can write it here cos of a plus b by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2 now if you can 
uh, use your common sense and tell me if in case i change the sign in between so what will be your answer then it obviously will come to sin a, a plus b by 2 because in this case the second part will remain the first part will abolish so this will be like that okay you can do it at your home and you can try it because i am leaving it to you because very easy already shown so what why it is necessary why this kind of formation is necessary why this now let's say i am taking some angle a is equal to 75 and b is equal to 15 now this kind of angle is not having direct value you have to calculate it or every value you cannot remember there may be possible that some angle is such that you have no choice rather if i take it like that uh let's say this is further tougher angle i'm trying 73 and this is 30 now 75 15 at least people can try and get it but how about this you need to have your calculator now if it is not there the calculator is not there being allowed then how will you do that in that case this relation will help you two sin a sin b what was the formula sin of a plus b by 2 into cos of a minus b by 2 if you can remember this now put the value it will make your life easy a plus b that means 90 by 2 what is that 45 So forty-five. What is cos? This minus this. Four. Sixty-four. Okay. So now it is cos sixty-four degree. Now this part is easy. Cos of sixty-four. Okay. Now this is root two cos of sixty-four. The somewhat it is reduced. Now if you can go with this. is good this much also you can keep as an answer if not you have to calculate this one then also there are some process where you can further reduce it if in case the exact value is not known so cos of 60 plus 4 you can do from there you can further bring it to in a smaller form cos of 60 cos 60 cos 4 cos 60 is equal to half cos 4 plus uh, sorry minus sin 60 root 3 by 2 into cos 4 uh, sin 4 okay this much reduction you can do this 2 will be there root 2 cos 4 minus root 3 by sin 4 so this much you can reduce okay if not so there may be some clue also be there where you might get some of the value either cos 64 could be there because this kind of values you won't get directly okay so there is no choice so you can keep this in this form okay so this is depending on the sum being given so i'm i'm just taking some example where somewhat the life will be easier if you go like that or there may be possibilities that you prove this when a or b is this much you prove this one so this is also a kind of uh, derivation you can say where i can bring this value up to this okay when there is no choice you have to keep this in this form because cos 4 and sin 4 you won't get directly so you have to leave it like that okay or else they may say one of the value the sin 4 is this much then cos 4 you can calculate from there you can bring the uh, ultimate value or if not so i am just taking an example where these things are useful or if initially whatever i have taken it will be very uniform value so that will give you somewhat privilege if it is 75 and 15 so the both angles a plus b and a minus b 
the value you know. So, 2 sin of a plus b by 2 that means 45 here, 75 plus 15 is 90, 45 here and cos of a minus b by 2 that means 75 minus 15, 30, uh, 60 by 2. So, this value you know. So, you can bring it down. Whereas, if you go on calculating sin 6, 75 and sin 15 separately and then put it the value, it may take a longer time. Okay. Whereas, if you use this formula, because this for, these things are directly known to you. Okay. So, this way you can, no, sorry, root 3 by 2. These are very much known to you. So, from there you can get the value easily. Okay. So, this is my intention to understand why this formula being derived and what is the use of that. So, I'm just, later I will show few more examples where this thing will be uh, clear you uh, further. Okay. Uh, okay. So, now the reverse of that, if it is sin of a and sin of B, uh, I take it as capital sin of B. Then what would be the relation? Can it be brought to the form of some uh, sum or a subtractor? Let me check. The thing is the same sin of A plus B by 2 plus A minus B by 2. <coughs> Sorry. Oh, sorry, here it is sin of a plus b by 2 minus a minus b by 2 and if I expand it because these are in multiplication form so if I extend expand it it will become I am taking it because it will be clumsy then otherwise b and a and b so I am writing it again in the form of sin of uh, sorry, a plus b into sin of a minus b. Now, it will be easier to handle the uh, board because it will be a small board. I cannot expand it further. Uh, so, sin of a cos of b plus cos of a sin of b. Now, the other part is sin of a cos of b minus cos of a. Sorry, cos of a sin of b. Now, I will take it to the top of the board. Okay. So, now this plus this, this minus this, a minus b, a plus b. So, ultimately it will be sin square a cos square b minus cos square a sin square b. Okay. So, ultimately, I want to try to make it in same manner, so that cos I will turn, convert into sin and uh, same way cos here I can convert into uh, sin also. So, sin square a 1 minus sin square b, cos square b is equal to 1 minus sin square b. And here I will write 1 minus sin square A into sin square B. The, in the both case, cos square I am converting into sin. So, if I multiply sin square A minus sin square A into sin square B minus this sin square B minus the plus sin square A sin square B. Now, this will be cancelled out. Ultimately, it will be sin square a, uh, sorry, sin square a minus sin square b. Isn't it? So, this will become what sin square a sin square b. Uh, this will become if I write it in the form of uh, okay sine square a plus b by 2 minus sine square a minus b by 2 
ओके फाइन कैन वी फर्दर रिड्यूस इनटू सिमिलर सिंपलर फॉर्म लेट मी चेक इफ आई कैन ना आई हैव I have written in the actual angle A and B. Now it is so. Sine of A plus B by two plus sine of uh, okay, fine. So if it is so, if I take half. So I can multiply it into two sine square a plus b by two minus two sine square a minus b by two. Yes, I can write it. Why I am writing? You will come to know shortly. Two sine square a plus b by two. What is that? This is equal to what? Because one minus cos two theta is equal to two sine square theta, is it it? Or one plus cos two theta is equal to two cos square theta. This I know. I will use it here. Two sine square theta means one minus cos of two of this means cos of a plus b. Okay, so this will be in bracket minus. Two of sine similarly one minus cos of a minus b by two. Uh, sorry, a minus b. This will be in the second bracket. So now one minus cos of a plus b minus one plus cos of a minus b. One will be cancelled out. Half into cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. So this is my ultimate relation. Yes, this is my ultimate relation. So what I have seen, sine of a into ah uh, sorry, what I have what I have taken initially, sine of a. Yes. Sine of a into sine of b, which will come as half into cos of half into cos of a minus b minus cos of a plus b. That also come to this part. This also we can use if it is necessary somewhere. Sine of a plus b by two minus sine sine of sine square of a minus b by two. This is the uh, you can say byproduct of this derivation. This is the product that I want to bring. This is the by and this is the byproduct. If in case somewhere if you stuck, this also also possible to me. So, but it's not possible to remove all that. I'm just showing the derivation. so that you can get several way of solving the problem not that you are stuck somewhere you will not try something else so in the derivation that is automatically will come if you go on practicing this kind of derivation it will automatically come in your uh, mind so you need not to put so much effort to solve it okay so thank you for now uh, i might uh, might give you some more derivation of similar kind then after i will show numerical problems so that will be very interesting one will solve solve numerical problems along with me thank you